Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell, head whiz of Dragon Rider Network, and today in this video, I will be going over some of the things that we are bound to see come up at CES 2014. So anyway, let's get into it. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, CES is the International Consumer Electronics Show that is held every year in Las Vegas. I was fortunate enough to go out last year to cover CES 2013 and see all of the really cool technologies that made it out to the market this year or are going to make it out to the market in future years. If you guys want to see my video coverage of that, it will be in my channel and you can go check it out there for yourself if you're feeling very nostalgic. This year though, I was not so fortunate to go out to Vegas to cover the event at CES 2014. However, though, I will still be doing all of my coverage from across the country here in the comfort of my own home. But this video right now is what you should be expecting to see at CES 2014 during my coverage this upcoming week. So anyway, let's go ahead and see some of the things that should be coming to us via CES 2014. The first thing we can expect is everything in 4K. The new high definition standard called 4K or UHD made its big splash last year at CES 2013. This is a brand new resolution that brings resolutions up to four times higher than the current 1080p televisions that we currently have. The only difference though is that this year every single company is going to be getting their foot in the door for 4K content and televisions. Every single major television company is going to try and push out their version of a 4K TV. LG has already announced that they're going to be introducing five new 4K TVs, including a behemoth 105 inch curved UHD TV. And Polaroid has announced that they will be debuting a new 50 inch 4K television for just $1,000 when comparing that to last year's models which will be running in the tens of thousands of dollars. While we're still on the subject of 4K, another big topic will be smaller devices that can show and even produce 4K content. This will be phones and tablets that are able to not only show 4K content on their screens but be able to capture and record 4K content with their new cameras. If odds hold up, we will end up seeing a lot of new cell phones and tablets that are able to display 4K with new high resolution screens that will be able to support the brand new UHD standard. What we could also see is a string of new phones and tablets that could shoot 4K video such as the Acer Liquid S2 or Samsung's Galaxy Note 3. And finally, if you thought the hype was over over wearable technology, guess what? CES could be the one to come back and fan the flames. Google Glass and many other competitors that are trying to become the new so-called iWatch will have to face stiff competition coming their way this week. Many companies have invested into creating glasses that can function like the hot $1,500 pair from Google and companies like Sony are looking to make their own gadget watch come to life. However, though, there is no word on what Apple could possibly be producing at this point in terms of an iWatch. However, though, January has just begun and CES is in the first week. Apple could possibly follow in the week after or possibly the week after that. So that is all I can say is definitely likely to show up at CES 2014 this week. If you guys are spotting any kind of interesting technology coming out of CES this week, and want me to talk about it in detail, just message me or leave it in the form of a comment down below and I will definitely get to covering it. And of course, I will be keeping up with all of the news coming out of Vegas this week, so make sure you follow this channel for all of the coverage that I plan to do from the comfort of my own studio. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what comes out of CES this week. Anyway guys, if you guys liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tech content like this. Also make sure to follow me in all of the social links down in the description below. Leave a comment, thumbs up this video, and of course I will catch you guys at the next video. Talk to you then.